Maybe not. Let's go walk around. Yeah, let's go check out. So we're at the Eclipse. Um, none of us have classes because we couldn't find any. We tried to go... Yeah, I'm vlogging. Don't look at me like that, guys. So we tried to go and find some... Um, some eyewear from our local... What do you call them? Library? Nathan, your fly's down. That's not right. So we tried to find some eyewear from... Uh, Welding. Welding. Some, from some... So we... Shop. One place. Hi. So we tried to find some eyewear from like some local welding shops, but they were all out. And apparently, um, the specific shade that we need, like welders don't even use that shade. So typically they wouldn't even have a large amount of that in stock. But of course there's a lot of demand because of, well, the eclipse. So. Oh my Everybody smile. We're waiting for the eclipse. Uh, we don't have glasses though, so it's going to be interesting just watching the, the world go dark. He went to go look for glasses by himself. So we were just walking around and then some nice uh, nice lady just kind of had a bunch of glasses and she offered them to us. You cannot see you at all. No, I cannot see you. When you are wearing these glasses, you cannot see a single thing. Except for the sun? Except for the sun, yeah. Our search for glasses started with us going to multiple different places. Uh, we googled different places that they would possibly be, Kroger, Walmart, Target, those places. And me and Russ stopped by each of those places and they're all sold out. This is Russ. And uh, after that we started calling places. I think I called 20 different Lowe's and 15 different Kroger and we eventually found out every single Kroger was sold out on the East Coast. And then we decided to look into welding glasses so we did tons of research on what kind of welding glasses we needed and other things like that. And uh, we did this, all this research on Saturday and all the welding places closed early Saturday and closed all of Sunday. So this morning we decided to hit some of the welding places, two of them, and they were both sold out. So then we came here disappointed and we didn't expect to find any more. You know, we're in the path of, path of totality and nothing else is happening. So uh, luckily we happened to pass this woman who gave us free glasses. It all worked out. See, procrastination pays off. Yeah, I really don't know why shade 14 would be useful to anybody. Yeah. Where's the camera? I'm Snapchatting me, but I can't look at your camera. That that is cool. I didn't see that. So we're on this really cool bridge. Um, we're still waiting for the eclipse to happen now uh, for totality. Um, but we're getting hot and Brandon wants to go sit in the shade so we are leaving the bridge to find some shade. It's at about 50% and once it's at a 100% totality, we will show you guys and it's going to be really awesome. <laughs> so the bridge is filling up, so we are going to go up there right now. Did Brenny go to the bathroom? Where no, is he? He's there. He's just there. there he is.
Russ, uh, what are you going to do once the sun is fully covered? I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to probably play the hero soundtrack. Got to set the tone, you know? Explain what Heroes is about real fast. It's about a bunch of people who get superpowers during an eclipse. Somewhat. There's probably some, uh, some wrong information there, but... And if you could get one superpower today from this eclipse, what would that be? I would teleport. I think right now we're probably at about like 75%. Um, and it is starting to look a little bit darker. Like, I feel like I'm wearing... Like, I feel like I'm wearing sunglasses, but I'm not. And oh, really? it's interesting. You're not wearing sunglasses right now? Well, now I am, kind of. It's looking cool. If I had to guess, we probably have about uh, 10 or 15 minutes before it is fully covered and everything will go dark. And I'm very excited for it. No, I just looked at the sun. I'm gonna go blind. <laughs> I can't even see you. Yeah, you can't see anything. In these. So we're obviously extremely fortunate today. Uh, there are virtually zero clouds in the sky right now. So I'm, I'm very excited about this. I took a gander. Yeah, but this is not gonna hurt me too much. So it's an odd coincidence that we get to see the moon cover up the sun. Um, because obviously the moon is not as big as the sun. The sun happens to be 400 times larger than the moon, but it also happens to be 400 times further away from us than the moon. So that's why they kind of appear to be the same size. And that's why... Um, what if your information is wrong, Nathan? I don't think it's wrong. I, I think it's 400. I need a time, probably. Someone's got a... Brandon thinks it's 4,000. I don't know. I'm not. I'm standing by 4,000, but loosely. Uh, this is not an educate. This is not. This not, is not guess. <laughs> so it is 2:31 p.m. here in Greenville, South Carolina, and things are starting to get kind of shady, um, and not not in the way that it gets when you walk down an alleyway in Baltimore. Um, but things are getting darker, and um, I think we're getting close. So Brandon looked it up, and it turns out that I was right. It is 400 times larger than the moon, and 400 times further than the moon. He's very egotistical. He needs it. No, 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 no. My <laughs> ego is small. Small like the moon, which oh, is now, 400 so times smaller weird. than the sun. Now it feels like I'm in here. It feels really weird. Like it. Yeah, no. It looks bizarre. Brand Look at the sky. <laughs> so I, need, I, need, I need a time. I need, like, I need time. So it's starting to get much darker now, um, and it's almost disorienting. So people are starting to cheer the sun on, trying to help it out a little bit. This Maybe. I've seen the camera, can't pick it up. Oh, you can see the haze around it now.
Alright, so the sun is fully covered right now and it is it is dark. It looks like it's 10 p.m. right now. Um, probably like 8.39, but we'll, we'll let it slide. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this for a little bit. Because I might not ever get to see this again in my lifetime. Alright guys, so the sun is back. Uh, the world did not end. Um, we're still I don't here. Have superpowers either. No. Yeah, Russ does not have superpowers. So, uh, I guess he doesn't have his teleportation, so he has to drive back with us to Atlanta. But it's only like a three hour drive, right? Oh, five hours. With friends. So. Brendan, what'd you think? I really liked it. Now we just gotta wait till 2024 to see it again. Devin, what do you think? Thought it was pretty cool. That's what it looks like on camera. Did you play the Yeah, you can kind of hear it. Here. And then you can see it lesson. You can hear Nathan, right? <laughs>